Hi there, I'm back from Birmingham and normally this would be my Monday makes and plans vlog but I've got to fess up, I didn't make anything last week, I know, unheard of but this week's plans is not when we make some plans, it's going to be a Birmingham vlog and plans for next week. So if that's something you're interested in finding out about, stick around. Hi there, I'm Christine the Gemini Stitcher and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, busy, busy week last week, no sewing done. Lots of plans made because I went to Birmingham and met up with Sequin Girly Sam. We stayed at an Airbnb Thursday through to Saturday, did Birmingham, went to the event at Guthrie and Garney and had a blast. It was the first time that Sam and I had met each other and we got on brilliantly. So much so, we're planning on meeting up again, which is good, isn't it? Lots of plans loads of plans for the future but watch this space so what happened in birmingham i'll give you a little overview and then i'm going to put some footage in of what we did when we were there so i drove down to birmingham on my own super brave hello esme she can't resist the camera can she i'm gonna leave her down there though yeah took me about two hours not too bad found the airbnb perfectly and then we spent the thursday night chit chatting getting to know each other a little bit better and then hit the ground running on friday with a day in birmingham we met up with bex from what bex souls and adele from soul for serenity in birmingham and that was great we went to the silk store with them and then over to barry's then we popped sam and i popped back to our airbnb for a little break and I'll show you the footage of us chit-chatting about the fabrics we bought in Birmingham. And then we went to Guthrie and Garney. And Saturday morning, chilled for a bit and then headed home. So we'll start off with some footage that I took when we were roaming and rummaging around Birmingham. And then I'll pop back in a minute. But yeah quite full on so shall we go to the part where me and sam we've been in birmingham all morning it's about three in the afternoon we've got back and we're going to talk about the fabrics we've got come on let's see what we bought hey everyone today is friday yes it's friday, friday. <laughs> Um, we've had a day, well, it's not finished yet, but we've had a day where we've been to Birmingham this morning. We've been to the rag market, we've been to Barry's, is it the silk? The silk store. The silk store, we've had lunch, we've seen Adele and Bex, and we thought we would show you what we've got before the Giffrey and Garney event tonight. Yeah, just so that it doesn't look like we've bought shed loads of fabric, because we have. <laughs> yeah, full disclosure. This was something we've been waiting for and we have we knew we were going to buy fabric. <laughs> this wasn't an accident. No, do you want to go first? <laughs> okay, right. So Take we'll, turns. Yeah, we'll try, I'll try and remember where I got things from as well. So Christine and I both got this one, didn't we? Ah, yes. Okay. So we both yeah. bought this. This is from the Silk. Ta -da! And it's a stretch uh, cotton sateen. Um, we finished the roll, didn't we? Yes, we bought <laughs> out the store with yeah. this one, so it's and obviously it's, popular. It's got a nice bit of stretch to it. We have no yeah, idea what we're going to make, but it's a colour oh, that works yeah. for both of us. Um, so we'll keep you posted on what we're doing with that. Yeah, maybe Christine, a collab on the horizon. We yeah. will see. Christine was quite reserved in there, and so was I. I think you bought one other thing in the, in the yeah. silk store. Yeah, I did. 
I bought this, which is a cotton lawn. I have to say, their yeah. selection of cotton lawns is one of the best I've ever seen. There's probably about 30 different rolls, wasn't there? Yeah, and it's really good quality. Yeah, and it was 7 99 which I think for the quality of this, it's got a really lovely, smooth feel. I think that suits me. Yeah, I think it does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm very yeah, happy with that. And I said to Christine, I'm buying less than I need for a dress because it'll make me make a top with it as well. So I did. Um, and what else did you, what did you get in the there? So, I got some denim. If anybody's been watching me, I've been making jeggings and the Eleanor jeggings from Jarley Patterns are a win-win for me. So I've got some light blue stretch denim to make a spring pair, maybe a cropped pair. Good idea. So that's the denim from the Silk Store. So I think my review of the Silk Store would be, they've got a lot of choice, but it's really well organised. It was. It's yeah. stacked to the rafters but with fabric. But supremely organised stack. Because yeah. I've been in other shops that have got that much fabric and you've got to like constantly move things all the time. And you can't. You can look up and see it all. You could see everything yeah. that they had. They had an amazing selection of suiting, of coat fabrics. The silks uh, upstairs. If, if you're you... making an, an outfit for a party or one of the like frock towels or anything like that, the choice is phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So it's definitely shop, and the price is really range. So you get things from like four ninety five right up to like eighteen twenty pounds. I think you More. found. Yeah, <laughs> we both found. Some I found the like, most yeah. expensive fabric in the shop. <laughs> I think. <laughs> so it's definitely a shop worth visiting. It's a good range, even like basics. Like there was loads of plain colours of jerseys. There was like lots of linens, wasn't there? Like just nice yeah. ranges. Yes. So it's a shop that is well stocked with a good variety of fabric, I thought. So. We went in twice, so we must have liked it. <laughs> <laughs> but this was the kind of shop where we didn't see that purple one the first time, did we? No, so. no. Right, should we do market or Barry's next? Uh, market. Right, so market was where we went first. We got to Birmingham about half nine. Something like that, So yeah. some of the, the rag market stalls were still opening, but we could see whether they were fabric ones behind or not. Mm. But the parking was easy. We waited till after rush hour, so the traffic wasn't too bad. A little bit sticky, but not too bad. No, it was okay. And it was nice and quiet, so we didn't feel like we were getting jostled or anything like that. And by the time we had lunch, things did look a lot busier, didn't they? Yes. The, if you've not been to Birmingham, what I would say about the rag market is you've got some of it undercover with other market stalls and then there's the open market outside where we found some serious bargains serious bargains yes. and I think they're probably only there when they've got stuff in and they don't go when yeah, they have yeah because there were some stalls that didn't have anything on yeah them, so it's a bit hit and miss but worth so it outside is like potluck inside they seem to have their stalls set up all the time yeah so yeah. they're more consistent um so outside they were selling fabric for like 50p, £1.50. So if you can't see the price, don't be afraid to ask. And also say no thank you if you don't like it. So we've got this, haven't we? Oh. We're going to share this. <laughs> oh, it's purple again. Um, it's a French terry, we think. Yeah. It's got Super sparkly stuff. stars. Oh, it's sparkly. Let's get it close. Get the yeah, it's sparkly stars. Oh, so we're going to half that. this. It's about four metres here. Yes, so we're going to go halves on this. And it was £1.50 a metre. <laughs> the French terry. Yeah. So cotton French I, and it really outside, some of it was in piles and people were just digging through it as well uh, yeah you've got to like, be prepared to yeah. have a good rummage and if you're not a rummager it's you're going to miss out for you but you're going to no, but you're going to miss out yeah for and sure. i and i also got this so don't some of it's in rolls some of it's in piles on the floor this yeah. was hanging like displayed yeah. and he was quite happy for us to pull it down just and pull it down just, and buy it yeah so i got this one which is it's probably a bit more green in my life. It's going to be blue on there, isn't it? What are this you going to make with that? It's going to be a dress. Is It'll it either be a twist one or a seasons of these. Yeah. This is one it's of those nice. easy put on dresses, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that you, you like. Know, that I love. These are perfect for work because I'll just stick on like a, a pink necklace or something and then I'm mm. good to go. So, uh, yeah, nice jersey, nice stretch to that. And it's nice to be able to feel them because obviously at £1.50 you can't be sure of the quality, but you can feel no. them. Yeah. And no. you're not ordering it online, it's turning up and being disappointed. Yeah. Because you're there. I love shopping fabric live and I wish I could do more of it. Right. You get, oh, you got some cows outside, know. didn't you? Yes, I got some olive green. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, olive green. That's a stretch velvet with a, cr it's a crushed velvet, isn't it? 
That's bit so of nice. stretch. Was that one pound fifty a meter? Yeah. yeah. So you can't not buy it. Can't not buy it. And, and, and it's a bit like I've been saying is if you if you've not made something before, this could end up becoming a wearable, but it's not the end of the world if no. it's your practice piece. No. And you've I've got, got so big plans many... for this fabric, to be fair, even though it was only one pound fifty, it doesn't have to be a twelve. No. And I'm hoping it's not going to be. I'm thinking of the Porsche dress. Oh yeah, that would be so nice. We'll see. That might be later yeah. in the year because we're coming into spring now, aren't we? <laughs> she says the sun's shining outside, so we yeah. must be. So I also got this. This was one fifty a meter as well. Yes, it's another jersey. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, but nice stretch. This I thought would make another just nice everyday dress. It's really nice. It's really nice. It's really soft, isn't it? Yeah, I've um, had fabric like this before, and where it's the tie dye print. It's been printed on the surface and made it feel really mm. cardboardy. But, but this, this isn't. Yeah. It, it's been. Yeah. Is it the same on both? Oh no, it's black yeah. on the back. But it, it's been printed in, in yeah, a way. It doesn't, it doesn't like it doesn't disappear when you stretch no. it. No, so it's really nice. This I know, like I've got the other one, but these are perfect everyday dresses when I'm going out yeah. on school visits, things like that. Um, so yeah, I know this will. Wop, I'll wop this up in an afternoon. <laughs> As you do. As you do. Now we've got another fabric that's the same, Sam, didn't we? Oh, yes, yeah. A bit matchy matchy in the purple. I'll do the other side if you want. Oh, go on then. So it's a double sided. It's the double gauze, this. And that's what you get. So we thought this was brilliant. And I'm loving it. It's, it's nice and sort of nice handle it's to really it. Really floaty. So I was saying like a Charlie Caftan where you did like some bits in oh, that yeah. and some bits in that. Some bits that way. Yeah. It's a nice fabric. How much did we yeah. get? I can't remember. I got three. Well, I'm I, I must have done them. Yeah, I did get three. Because three is perfect when you're making a dress. I did get three because I didn't know what sort and this of dress was I was making three, with these it. were three pounds a metre. This was off a guy's store. Yeah, almost three everything pound, on his store. Three pounds a metre for cotton yeah. double gauze. That's so reversible. That is in my pile for my mission to find my go-to summer dress. Because okay. that was my mission this year. At the same store, I got... Um, a crushed velvet it's like a a minty green and i said i was gonna make a shroco didn't i mm. we, we tried while we were shopping to say what would we make what am this. i going to make with it yeah didn't do it for everything but no most you know, things most things because let's be fair there were fabrics i kept going oh, look at that look at that but i didn't yeah, get them then, did I? no because one we're, we're transitioning into a new season mm. shortly so you don't end up with a load of fabric that you're not going to use until next winter and i saw a lot well like i that. don't anyway yeah, yeah. And, and also like that one the amazing one with like the the sort of like sort of feathery bits on the ends of it. oh wow it's fabulous oh. but i was like i i, I should have videoed that and you I didn't do done, yeah we've been very rubbish today okay okay <laughs> <laughs> But I was saying, even though I could think what to make with it, it would then just sit in my wardrobe. And this mm. I know, if I make You'll a Scirocco out of this, I'll wear this. I'm the kind of person that I would wear that, like I would have worn this today, because I've got my Scirocco on here. I know, it's got um, a very, This is so snuggly. I would happily wear that, just like with this roll neck underneath, like that. Yeah, because you're going to make it with yeah, sleeveless, aren't you, like this yeah. one, which I think is a really good take on the Scirocco by not putting the sleeves in. Yeah, I like I that think it very works. much. And, and so this... Just a Scirocco, crushed velvet, you know, living my 80s jumpsuit dreams, really, am I? <laughs> that pile's getting very high there, Sam. Yeah, you can't see it, but it's right about this high. high. <laughs> and then I got one more thing. And did oh. you get one more thing at the market? No. I, no, I was obviously more restrained than you were. You did get something else at the market. What, what did you get? Oh, Christine finds what she got at the market. Oh, so God, yes. Yeah. So Take I, it back and rubbish. I got a purple ponty. So it's... Two way stretch, really good stretch and a nice recovery because anyone who's watched my um, recent ones, I've been making like the Walt Boldly wide leg trousers, yeah, like the Onyx um, ones, which are like a slim leg. So I was really, mindset was on Ponty. I kept saying about mm. Ponty. Yeah. And this and is a nice it. that is purple, nice. three pound meter, it's nice quality. Um, it's got all this glitter on from that's like something else. That's something else. I don't know if you, oh yeah, look, you can see it there. That's not part of the print. <laughs> that's been shedding. Although I don't mind glitter. I'm gonna say um, that's a shame. With a bit of sparkle <laughs> to it. it look well, amazing. We'll have to check it. Maybe it, no, I don't. No, it, it isn't. It's come off something else. <laughs> but this will make a perfect trouser, um, and it means then that that other pattern things that I'm making to tops, 
I can wear with this. I'm trying. I'm trying yeah, to have well. some planes yes. to go with my pants. Yes. You do well. Else, apart from like some threads and some trim, that was my fabrics done. She yeah, says the only other thing that Sam is right, I did get something else. And I don't think we're going to do it justice just because of no. the large scale of the pattern. Look at that. Oh, thanks, Sam. The there color. we go. Wow, it is just gorgeous. As don't you, know what I'm going to make Kristen, with this. you need to say you're gorgeous, as you oh, say. Oh, is that it? It's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> but that's so, like, you could easily put that on with, like, a sandal when in the summer, in an evening, when yeah. out for a meal, but in the winter with a black roll neck. Yeah, so yeah. give me some ideas, guys. What can I make this up yeah, in? That is it's lovely. not stretch. No. It's it, like a viscose weight. But it's got really nice straight. I think I'm having fabric envy. Take it away oh, yeah, from right, me. Right, okay. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah, otherwise I'll be making you take me back there. <laughs> right, we got some trims, we got some uh, oh, fabric, uh, some thread. It's That's definitely worth looking. Gloves. The prices on the stools really vary from the price of thread. I think we found the best one. These were 50p, weren't they? Yeah. Moon thread, 50p. So we've both got yeah. some, some cottons. But you can't have any bobbins of cottons, can you? And then we both I got, got sewing needles. Hand sewing needles because I can never find them, so I've got loads of those now for a pound. Nice trim. We were pretty reserved on the trim, we'll weren't we? Does that look reserved? <laughs> <laughs> but what I mean I is I some straight to lot trim. Barkley trim. I mean, I only got two, which for me is reserved. I just got yeah. that one thing. I was thinking like that would look perfect on the neckline one. of a summer dress. No. Yeah. Yeah. I've got trim envy now. Mine looks pretty. <laughs> Yeah, compared to Sam's, but you know. <laughs> but then it didn't stop there, did it? Because we went with no. Bexadale to Barry. Yes, we met. We went for lunch, and while we were having a lovely lunch in Browns, uh, Bex and Adele turned up, so they bobbed over, had a nice drink with us. We met them for the well, I met them for the first time. Me too. First yeah, time. My first time yeah. So we all met up together. I think Adele's taken some photos, so if we can get yeah. them off, her, we'll be bobbing these in, so you yeah. can see us all together. And we went to this back to the silk store, didn't yeah. we? Have to have another look. Bex had never been in there, had she? No, no. I found that quite yeah. strange. Mm. The number of times she's been to Birmingham. And then we all headed over to Barry's. They're Barry's pros, aren't they? So they, they know are, how it's all organised. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it um, was like a military operation. <laughs> And Adele knew what she wanted. She yeah. knew where to look for what she wanted. Yeah. We enjoyed having a browse because obviously we've not been yeah. before. Yeah. Barry's again, really good coating fabric selection. They had loads, didn't loads, they? Loads, really good quality. And again, good range of prices, I felt. Mm. There's something sort of everyone's yeah. pocket. Yes. They had a really good selection of like dance wear slash like, like workout wear as well, wasn't they? did, there? yeah. 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 So if you're into something yeah. like that. And then and lots and lots of like planes, like all the crepes and that sort of thing. Yeah. If you want linings or plain things. And then, of course, we, there was the bargain bit, which is good. We didn't choose anything, but there was no. a bargain bit. Yeah, there was some that were a pound a metre and some that were two pound a metre yeah. in the bargain bit. And then there was all the stretch and the ponties. So that was my yeah. zone, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> yes. Oh, and lots of flannel as well. They had loads of check. Yeah. Loads of different, uh, with different out of different fabric types. There was yeah. cotton check, there was brushed cotton, there was there was all sorts, mm. wasn't there? And so, you did you did say you'd fabric peaked, didn't you? And actually yeah, I wasn't gonna buy anything. I know. I felt like I was fabriced out. <laughs> I really did. Yeah. Bear in mind it was about what, two o'clock in the afternoon yeah. and we've been looking at fabric. And thinking what we'd already bought. <laughs> since half past nine, <laughs> apart from a short break for yeah. lunch, I just felt like I couldn't look at any more fabric. But I pulled round and I managed, <laughs> she came round, and yeah. managed to get some stuff. <laughs> you, you, but, but I revived it, myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I was pretty, I was pretty good, wasn't I? And yes. Bex was like, "What are you doing? Why are you so calm about this?" And and I w went straight to the ponties, straight to the planes, um, and I, might, I got three. You'll be proud of me. Three planes. They're all a varying type of like scuba or ponty. This is like a lovely texture. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's got a crepey look on yeah, it, hasn't it? But great stretch. And then this is That's almost quite the same. Like, yeah. 
and then a plain. This is as close as I've been able to find today to a forest green ponty, which is what I kept going on about wanting. That's showing that's up much darker on Twitter. It's like a bottle green. It I is bottle say. green, yeah. Um, and that's a lovely weight for like a, I was thinking the onyx pants in this. Yeah. Um, so nice that. stretch, just two way stretch, but plenty there. And all of these with good stretch. So I thought that was pretty impressive considering how much there was is in the shop. Is that all you got? Well, <laughs> well, and then when I was queuing to get them cut, you know how like fabrics get jabbed in sometimes and you can't yeah, see Yeah, you just can't the quite see the, the beauty of I them. I was stood waiting to cut and I went, what's that? So Bex helped me find it from the other side. How could I not? It's so you, Sam. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. So I was very reserved. Really? Put a metre and a half or two metres. Is that all you yeah. got? Yeah, because I also make a dress and I need to not make a dress. I thought it'd just yeah. make a nice top yes. to wear exactly. with any of these trousers, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> but nice little co-ord going yeah, on there. Yeah. So it, it's a bit like a knit, isn't it? But I don't know how yeah. I would describe this. It is a knit. But it's... So it's got... So it's not... Two, a... Oh, it's got two ways, so it's with a tiny bit the other way. Yeah. But it's so not it's just a nice, it's a nice, nice. knit fabric. Yeah. And then... I also got the fabric that like a lovely all... Nico top that. Oh yeah. But I got the fabric that almost all of us got. 75% Not of me. <laughs> Christine decided to be the maverick here. It's a French terry. But that's a nice spring French terry, isn't it? I was thinking a Marley cardigan. Oh, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday. I've got Tomorrow. Till lunchtime tomorrow, and I might be going back to Barry's. I, Watch this space. I think. <laughs> but that is now nice. Marlo, do you know what? Yeah. It's a Marlo to wear, like, over some of these dresses. Like, look at it over that dress, look. Yeah, yeah. And the other one as well, over that, look. And I just wouldn't listen to them. All three of them said I should buy oh, yeah. it, and I said, no, why? It's not my colour. Because, look, it just. I think it is. Do you? Yeah. Mm. But with like, if you had that on with like the purple, like this, look. Here we go that. now. Look, with that, in the spring, when you need a little something over the top. Look yeah. at that, there. I think you missed out there. There was loads on the roll though. There was. We can always And it's back. kind of on my way home. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right. So, well, don't yeah. really. So, 75% of us got this, possibly 100% if uh, Christine changes her mind before she goes home. No, so, I'm okay. Yeah, Bex and Adele have got this as well. And you could play with the direction. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what? It'd make a good... Pogo it! <laughs> it would actually, wouldn't it? Yeah. They've got sick of me mentioning the Pogo Nick party today. Look, if we I'm play, so excited. If we play the drinking game, I'd be drunk on the floor by now. The amount of times Christine said the word Pogo Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Slipped it into conversation. Yeah. So come on, Christine, what did you get in the end after not getting well, anything? Well, after I revived myself, I got a few. So I've had this fabric before, I think, from Guthrie and Garnet a long time ago. And it's a denim with a copper that's nice it's yeah. like a rose gold stripe in it i'm not sure it's coming up true to form on there but yeah i bought this to make myself a pair of mitchell trousers mm. because i made some last spring and i made them in a linen and the linen was quite stiff so it didn't so that drape. fold at the side yeah, yeah. it didn't drape it I just feel like they're like that, and when I walk, they don't move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're a bit That's... cardboardy, so I've got this. That's, that'd be nice, yeah. It's like a chambray, isn't it? It is. It's yeah. a lightweight denim, so Mitchell's. Mitchell's. Definitely know what I'm making with that. Yeah. And then I've just got two other fabrics. See, I was reserved, and I got them to go together. It's a bit Barbie core, this. You know, like the outfit which goes into the real world. He's putting me off it now. <laughs> no, that's not meant to pick you up. Do you know, don't you love your friends sometimes? <laughs> I've got this Barbie fabric, apparently. <laughs> it's, it's quite Western looking, that's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, well, it depends what you make with it, honey. Yeah. Watch this space. <laughs> See, I really like this one. I think this would make a nice pair of the sepia pants, like a summer trouser. I don't think it's thick enough. It's very thin. I make, this is like the thickness that I made my checked ones in there. Is it? When you want like a cool summer yeah, trouser. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. What, we'll are thinking, what are you thinking? Or you're not sure? I've no, I'm no idea now. Mm. All I can think is Barbie now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I want a full western outfit with the blue denim yeah. down there and the cowgirl hat. <laughs> right, watch this space. Yeah. You're going to be amazed. Well, Christine, we know who's got the biggest pile. I think Sam's one, hands down. <laughs> oh, but, don't get half of that one down there is yours. Okay. So, yeah. But we've got to go to Guthrie and Garney's yeah. event this evening. So We'll try and put some footage in. We'll try and take yeah, some footage. Yeah, it might be a bit busy yeah. though. We'll just have to see, won't we? We'll see. But we'll tell you about it anyway, don't worry. And we might see some of you there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, that'd be weird. Like, we're saying we're going to see you there, but you'll have seen us there by the time oh, we yeah. put this on. We might have seen you there. Yeah. If we, <laughs> did, sure it was, if we did and we didn't say hi, it was lovely to meet you. <laughs> So, we're going to go right, now, because right now I've got to fold this all back up, which is now yeah, massive mountain on the floor. I know. We need to get ourselves in the right place for going out. We've got no idea what tonight's going to be like, have we? No. So, but we won't worry if we don't buy anything, because we've got plenty already. No, but I think <laughs> we might be a bit reserved at this sample sale tonight. It's, it's, it's quite unknown. Who knows? Who knows? It? It's a one-off yeah. event, so if it's there and you want it, you've got to buy it, haven't you? That's my view anyway. I agree. I'm turning into Adele. <laughs> Sorry, Adele. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if Adele shares the bin bag she got. <laughs> I'm sure she'll tell you all about her. We're bin saying bag. nothing yeah. else about the bin bag. <laughs> well, we're going to go now, but we'll be back on here in about ten seconds with whatever comes next. <laughs> So these are the fabrics that are snaffled at Guthrie's. Some of them are from the sample sale upstairs and some of them are for down in the shop downstairs, which was open as well, which was great. So we'll look at the sample sale stuff first, shall we? I'll just put these down because they're quite heavy. So upstairs, the sample sale was mainly planes, a lot of cotton twills and a lot of corduroys. So it was interesting to look at because I'm always drawn to pattern and colour. So it was great to shop in an area where there was just plain fabrics and forced me to think about planes a bit more, which I am guilty of not doing enough. So what did I get in the sample zone? I got this. Now it's like a, a cotton sateen twill fabric. How much of this did I get? It was £12 a metre, which is brilliant, and I've got two metres of it. Now, I didn't realise until I was in the queue and somebody told me that it's got stretch. So that opens up a whole new world for this fabric. Now, I've only got two metres of it. I'd love to think that I could make a little jacket and track matching trousers with a pop of colour underneath, I think would look great. But we'll see. We will see. I am, at the moment, totally drawn to the Eleanor Jeggins by Jarley Patterns, only because they're easy to make, there's no zips, and I've got a good fit. But I do also like the sashes from Closet Core Patterns. So I might make a pair of cropped sashes and see if I've got enough to make a little fitted jacket to go with them. It's an idea. So if you know of a little cute fitted jacket that doesn't use a lot of fabric, let me know. So that was fabric number one from up in the sample sale. Then sticking with my neutrals, I then got some beige or cream. Did you say it's not cream, it's a bit darker than cream and this isn't stretchy this is a true cotton twill fabric this was nine pounds a meter really good quality 
It's quite soft for a twill. It doesn't feel stiff and cardboardy, which is great. And I've got 1.7 metres of this. So, I'm thinking summer trousers again. I'd quite like to make the Mitchells in it, but I'm not sure whether it's going to be a bit too thick. If you've made the Mitchells, see, I made them once in a linen fabric, but it was a little bit too stiff. And they just stuck that shape and didn't move when I walked and oh, didn't feel nice. This feels nice. So maybe Mitchell's, that's a possibility. Or a jacket, or both. Not in 1.7 metres, I'm not optimistic or what. So then I got one more thing from the sample sale. And I went the other extreme and got some super bright pink corduroy fabric. So it's a needle cord in cerise pink. I think this was 12 pounds a meter. How much of it I've got? 1.4 meters. And I was thinking of a summer jacket. It's no stretch. So I don't know, I might make an Ilford jacket in it. I've not made that pattern and I think it might look quite nice. Less masculine if I make it in a bright pink cord. It's a bad idea. So that was the three things quite restrained for me that I got from the sample sale at Guthrie's. Then we went downstairs and spent absolutely ages deciding what fabrics we wanted in the shop because all of them are gorgeous. The first one that I got is this and it's called Honey Gold. Loving the colour and I'm going to make it a stretch knit with a ribbon in it. And I am going to make a top. I was thinking an eco top and then I've started thinking maybe I want to make the A Dream blouse by Friday Pattern Company so that it transitions into spring because it is quite it's quite thin so I think I could get away with a spring top in it and then oh, just sorry just grab the others and then it will go With that, maybe, thought it looked really nice with the cream. So I just got 1.2 metres of that, so it's definitely going to be a top. And I am definitely thinking the Adrian. But I do like the Nico, but I've got a lot of those. So yeah, maybe I'll do an Adrian in it. A bit more springified. And then last but not least, I could not resist this beautiful floral linen. I got two and a half metres, so I'm going to make a, I was thinking a dress. Bex from what Bex sells suggested the Zadie jumpsuit, which I've not made before. So that might be an option or a co-ord. It's a cotton linen, quite lightweight but not see-through, so it will be fine to make trousers with. I think it was 13 50 a metre, which is a really good price for a linen mix. Actually, it's a viscose linen, not cotton linen, so it's got a decent drape to it. Just trying to find the make because it's one that's just suddenly appeared in all the shops. So it's a Narida Hansen design. I think it's going to look fab in the sun. That's Birmingham, all done. 
I'm going to plot a few pigs at the end now that were taken and I hope you've enjoyed my experience of the wonderful visit I had to Birmingham with Sam and I will see you on Thursday because Thursday is the intro vlog for the Pogo Nick Pogo Nip party so don't miss that because it'll give you all the information all the rules and all the prizes that I've managed to snaffle so that everybody can post on Instagram on the 29th of Feb and go in the draw for a prize so have a look at the photos and I'll see you on Thursday bye